Hello everyone, my name is Ron Cox and I developed a power app students can use to check in and check out each day. It stores their attendance records in a SharePoint list that Power BI can access and analyze for current and historical academic records. I served 23 years in the Army, initially as an enlisted counterintelligence agent where I learned to speak the Korean language at the Defense Language Institute. I then transitioned to the Signal Corps as an officer after attending the officer's school at Fort Benning, Georgia. Signal officers have a multitude of responsibilities. Basically, anything with electricity flowing through it can fall within your sphere of responsibility. But I was lucky enough to have specialized in information technology during most of my career with plenty of training and certification opportunities while performing jobs ranging from lower level help desk technician all the way to deputy director of the Joint Network Operations Control Center in Afghanistan where my team was responsible for the Army network throughout Afghanistan. I was very surprised that I had to check in with pen and paper on the first day of class. I naturally assumed this paper-based process would be replaced within a few days once the class was fully registered. As the weeks went by, I confirmed with the office manager that this paper-based process was, indeed, how we do it here. Therefore, I decided to tackle this issue with my Power App submission. Converting the paper-based process into an automated one could have significant value since digital records are easier to maintain than paper records. And the man hours currently required to audit attendance records would be eliminated if the records were displayed in a modern Power BI dashboard. More importantly, however, we can ensure that students that come behind us do not get the same first impression that I had when I picked up that pen to sign in on the first day. My solution has four main components. Number one, I used SharePoint to store the data. Number two, a Canvas app serves as the primary user interface. Three, Power Automate was used to connect the Canvas app to the SharePoint data. Lastly, Power BI generated the visual that appears in the Canvas app. I started the development process in SharePoint, where I created a new team site with three separate lists, one to store cohort data, another to support student registration, and one more to hold all the attendance-related records. With the backend data repository de developed, I was ready to begin working on the primary user interface. I ended up with three screens. The registration screen only appears the first time the user opens the app. Once registered, you will see the check-in screen, which enables you to check in at the start of the day and check out at the end of class. Each time you check in or out, you will see the final thank you screen. Within the Power App development environment, I created two flows to facilitate the transfer of data between the Canvas app and the data repository I created in SharePoint. The first flow stores the registration data from the initial Canvas app screen, and the second flow stores and queries the attendance data from the check-in screen of the Canvas app. I used Power BI Desktop to pull in the three SharePoint lists, developed a few measures, and ultimately decided to use the default gauge visual to display the student's attendance record. I published the report to the Power BI online service and generated a special URL that could be embedded within the Canvas app. When you open the app for the first time, it'll provide a greeting and some basic instructions for you to register as a student.
I'll specify that I'm an on-site student and pick my cohort. Once you're registered, then you have the opportunity to check in for the day. And then it will provide you with a thank you and your attendance record. Later in the day, when you return to check out, you'll notice that it takes you straight to the check in check out page and you'll be greeted as a fully registered student, which means you'll have your student ID card up at the top of the screen, the welcome, and basic instructions for checking in and checking out. You'll notice that the check-in button is grayed out because I've already checked in for the day and now I can check out. It takes you to your same thank you screen and once again provides your student attendance report which is based on your total opportunities to check in and check out based on the number of class days year to date. And then you can exit. The overall process was abbreviated to support an academic environment, but in the real world, I would have engaged with the student attendance process owner and the various stakeholders to acquire the additional data for the app as well as any additional specifications for its development. The biggest challenge with regards to creating the final prototype was the Power BI integration, which performed flawlessly on my iPhone when it was published to my development environment. But the Power BI visual would no longer display when I migrated the solution to the designated Divergence AI environment. Subject to your questions, my presentation is complete. I also wanted to give you one more opportunity to grab my LinkedIn profile. You can either take the URL as listed or use the QR code to go directly to my page. Thank you very much for allowing me this time to present my Canvas app.